Yeah. I'm out front, you bastard. Some no man. I've been looking at this too. A firefly converts chemical energy into light. Contrary to popular belief, it's not ghosts or the Jews making the firefly light. What are you eating, dude? Burrito taco. Where's your self-respect? No, I've actually been cutting out fast food. I quit soda. Hey, are you gonna masturbate in the U-Haul? No. What are you buying, dude? You were just boasting about stopping and drinking yeah. soda? <laughs> Trollio what? Sour bright glass. Where are you from? Stockton, North Side, Side. Stockton sucks, right? Are you party? You getting into some drinking? Yeah, I just fell with the Hennessy. cultural hub of Kettleman City. Homeless lady trying to cross the street. Be kind of depressing if this were your industry in your neighborhood. There's an auto parts place, a community health center. Thank God. That's Main Street. That's where the Merrill is. I'm just gonna throw this out here. Let me know if you agree with it or you think it's a bad idea. I'm thinking about putting down roots in Kettleman City. Think about all of this, man. I'm thinking about putting down fucking roots. Sin City, huh? That's what they call it, right? Kettleman City doesn't have a fucking nickname. I call it Sin City. Who was the last person you referred to Kettleman City as Sin City to? Why did you give me this cup? Uh, we talked earlier about how I don't drink soda and how you gave up soda, so I don't know why you insisted on buying that. You're making bad decisions left and right today, Noah. Can I list them off? Yeah. You parked right in front of the fucking gas station. You bought this cup. You ran over your entire garden at your dad's house. And then four, I saw you jerking off your corgi behind the shrubs. Cruising down into SoCal, still out in the middle of the fucking farmland. It was kind of a tradition for me when driving through this part of California right before the grapevine to give updates on how my life was going at that time. More of a realist now, maybe. Then again, maybe I need to start working my fucking ass off a little more. Keep pushing hard on my Twitter, get the YouTube going. And so I feel compelled to do a life update now. I'm not sure how much you guys know about me. My videos are typically just drinking, dick jokes, tit jokes. But basically, I transferred to UCLA in 2011 and I wanted to be like a lawyer or I just had some vague notion of being a successful white collar douchebag. Kind of had writing comedy in me all along. I would plagiarize movies I'd seen in my third grade creative writing sessions. I would draw super violent comic books when I was in middle school. That all went away for a while until in my last year of college just kind of resurfaced and I never thought of being a white collar person again. It's been over five years now, about five and a half years, and I've just been roughing it, working shitty blue collar restaurant jobs, swabbing tables, cleaning puke out of urinals and nightclubs as a bouncer. Just scum jobs. Always writing on the side. At first I wanted to write books and I have written some books on Amazon. I wasn't getting any traction on those. Like six people were reading each one I published until I threw my stuff up on Facebook the summer of last year and some of you guys started watching it and caring about it. I know I haven't made it yet by any stretch. I know you guys and other people online enjoy my stuff, which is fucking rad. It has given me the motivation to go completely all in on the video stuff. I think me moving down to LA right now, it's really, uh, it's me putting the dynamite on that mental bridge in my mind where the bridge represents the return to a normal square life. I'm going down to LA, I'm blowing the bridge behind me, and I'm not fucking leaving that city until I'm a successful comedy writer. Here we go, the new home. Garden, I had nothing to do with this. A palm tree. Someday this will be mighty indeed. Maybe mm. it'll produce coconuts. I don't really know how that works. Detroit Tigers. I don't know what affiliation we have with Michigan, but it's here nonetheless. Art looks good enough to me. I'd hang it up. I don't know how to hang it up, so it's gonna stay there for probably three or four months. A table that Zach assembled about five seconds ago. Solid craftsmanship. A refrigerator that didn't fit in the kitchen, which has a broken arm, opens up. Noah, our third roommate, took up the entire vertical space of the, this is all my stuff right here. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that, that fucking red-haired bastard. Innocent tobacco cigars, not gonna be used for uh, smoking cannabis, I can assure you. The kitchen actually looks like we kind of have our shit together. We have this nutcracker guy. Another door. All of our doors have two locks and we have to lock, keep them all locked at all times because we don't trust the neighborhood. Nice house, but not that nice of a neighborhood, I'll be honest with you. Coffee, drawers, stove, appliances. You get the Ooh. idea. I'm taking my shoes off. I don't like to soil my carpet. This is my fucking bedroom. This is a guitar. It's an open G. 
These are blackout curtains. I thumbtacked them up over my window because I don't like the light when I sleep in until noon every day. You motherfuckers who enjoy my entertainment on YouTube and Facebook, I'm up until 3, 4 in the morning editing away, writing away. Glasses, a bookshelf that I have all my books outside I gotta fill. Yeah, I read. I'm smart. I'm gonna probably move my bed in front of the door after I close it at night so intruders and burglars can't come in and fondle me. This is Zach's room. Zach, tell me about your room. A keyboard that I haven't even learned how to play yet. Fleetwood Mac, you fucking hippie. Desk lamp. Show me something good. exciting, dude. Where's the good stuff? Something Where's the exciting. sex toys? I do have this for self-protection, though. That's I actually used, a good idea. I used this in third grade. I used to hit freaking dingers. I was telling Noah, it feels somehow more honest to have a self-defense bat made of wood. Pros don't allow metal bats. I don't think you should have a metal bat in your home. A good closet. You can keep a lot of things in here. Smoking appliances, instruments, clothes, a young Vietnamese boy. It's kind of ironic. The extreme ownership Navy SEAL book next to two blunts and four lighters. This is the war room. This is where we're gonna make shit happen. This is my desk. This is my microphone. I can channel my inner Robert Plant. <laughs> Light, important. An ironing board, another door to the outside that remains locked at all times. Art, dolly. I don't know how to frame anything, so that's gonna stay on frame. Yeah. Sacramento Kings, 2000. Hey, Sacramento boys living in this fucking house. The backyard. You can do some jumping jacks for me, Zach. You're gonna be in tip-top shape in no time. Easily. I feel like if I were 10 years old, I'd want to set up a tent and do things back here. But yeah. now it's just my first instinct was like, it'd be cool to either masturbate or get blown back Definitely. here. Definitely. We had a bench right here. That'd be like a great blow bench. <laughs> just right here. <laughs> a blow bench. You should patent that. This is a garage. This is for sunning myself. And that's uh, it. I gotta make one more thing clear to you, okay? No? <laughs> See it? Look at me. That's my fucking room, okay? Have you seen me bring a broad over? I don't know why I put up two fingers like that again. Have you seen me bring a broad over? Do you smell that I'm smoking in there? Or you see him having a nice glass of wine? You stay the fuck in here, okay? I have a lot of If you get any ideas, because I know we don't have any locks on these fucking things. If you get any ideas and you try to barrel into my room when I'm getting down with the honey, I'm <laughs> murder you, dude. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I just turned on my computer and realized there's no internet here. I mean, what am I gonna beat off to tonight? That tiger over there in the corner? I'm gonna jerk off to this footage of Noah's ass that I'm filming right now. No, let me get a look at these tattoos. We'll start with the elephant. Is that a real or is that a stamp? That looks like one of those things that come in the zebra gum. I got that in Thailand. Yeah? It's a beer logo. Were you blacked out on that beer in question when this happened? No, this is my family. This piece on your left pectoral. What's this? This is like an 18th birthday. What is the eagle gnawing on? It's at the LP. It's just like where I grew up. Land park? Yeah. If you're proud of your hometown, why is the eagle destroying the letters? I don't you know. You didn't even think that through, huh? That's a good question. How about that thing? <laughs> My rugby coach drew this for our team. Your rugby coach isn't much of an artist, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> this is the best one. When Arnold took me to Paris, I just got this after I left to remind me of Paris. <laughs> Dude, you gotta put some more thought into your fucking <laughs> If you die tomorrow now, and all this shit in your house is considered your estate. Both fleshlights, your bong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we should get a house fleshlight, what do you think about that? <laughs> I want to explain something to the camera real quick. I think this is a must for any new roommates moving into a new house. We gotta figure out who the top wolf is, you know, the leader of the pack. I say we post a whiteboard on that wall. I want to get everybody lined up. This is the starting position. Everybody's touching the door now. Yeah, third party, a guy in a referee's jersey with a stopwatch, stands right there with a whistle in his mouth. He blows it, hits the stopwatch. We run to our rooms, you fucking flop down, you start beating off. The first guy to climax into a tissue, bring it back to the door and touch the knob, gets his time logged in. I want fucking one, two, and three right here on the whiteboard and I want that there and I want to do it every month and I want the third place to be training all month you know to better its position that's what I want what do you think about that <laughs> hey guys thank you for watching the video and if you haven't already click subscribe I basically already said everything I needed to say about LA in that video it has been kind of a rough start a job that I supposedly had down here I no longer have so I'm kind of scrambling in that regard, but I'm gonna go shoot this weekend. I'm working on a script right now that I think is fucking hilarious and nothing really puts me in a better mood than that. So on the whole, I think it's gonna work out down here and I'm gonna be pumping out top-notch shit real soon.